Um, all, this, all the question I asked you guys to do, guys, was to define your congruent parts. And we're going to do more of these coming up because I noticed a lot of people were still labeling triangles all right, and not labeling them in the same and with their congruent parts in order. So we have to make sure we label the congruent parts. And I'm going to break this up to your angle. So let's determine what are the congruent parts. Now notice we have this angle R that has one arc, right? So then we want, if we want to find what is the congruent angle, meaning the angle in this triangle that has the exact same measurement as angle R, you can see that it's going to be angle J, right? So what I do is I'd say angle R is congruent to angle J. When we're talking about angles, make sure you write in that it's an angle. Because Mario, what does R represent? Do you remember? When we talked about just a letter, what does R represent? This represents angle J. What does just R represent? Do you remember? It's like one of the first things we learned. But we don't really go back to it that much. We haven't really talked about it recently. Remember? No, I'll pass it off to Zach. Zach, what do you think? Point. A point, right? We don't really, t we don't really, haven't really investigated so much more into points. But yeah, just a regular letter it means a point, all right? But we're talking about angles in this case. Therefore, I can also say angle T is now congruent to angle K. And angle S is congruent to angle L. Right? Now, let's go into the sides. OK? So if I'm going to label the sides, now we do the same thing, but with the tick marks. So I can say angle TS, all right? I'm sorry, side TS. But this is where it gets very important. And actually, I didn't check all of your answers. So you guys are going to want to be very careful with this. If I say congruent to angle TS, there's only one way to write that that is correct. Either KL or TS is congruent to LK. Jessica, which one do you think is correct? Answer A or answer B? There's only one of them that's correct. And I'm not going to ask you to say which one's right or, which one, or why, but just what do you think which one's correct and which one's wrong? Which one's wrong? Um, B. B, OK. Um, Kylie, Kylie, why do you think B is um, incorrect? Because she is correct. This is not the right way to write it. Yep. Sorry, I wanted to say Kylie. I don't know why. Because TS is congruent because of angle what? KL is congruent to angle Yeah. T is congruent to K, and S is congruent to L. So AJ, do you see how they go in the same order? Because it's very important for you to understand that the T is congruent to K and S is congruent to L. So when you're writing your lines or even writing your triangles, make sure you go in their, by their congruent parts. So I'll finish this up here. Um, so now I have T is to K. So let's do the next side. So we'll have. L, J, which a lot of you forgot to write the lines up top, because now we're talking about the lines, so we definitely need to go into this. So L, J is congruent to S, R. And then finally, we can do um, J, K. J, K is congruent to um, R, T. And guys, there's multiple ways to say that these triangles are congruent. But if we want to do a final one, we'd say triangle. And I'll go in angles that are um, R, T, S is congruent to triangle J, K, L. All right? Make sure, again, guys, you label everything with corresponding parts. And if you're talking about an angle, use the angle symbol. If you're talking about a side, use the lines. And if you're talking about a triangle, make sure you draw the triangle symbol. All right? Very small little things that we got to make sure we're on the same page with. All right? So did everybody write down the correct?